Is this new always on display on your iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max awesome? But maybe too always on at night? Do you want the always on experience during the day, but not so much when you are trying to sleep? Yes? Good, you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the iOS Shortcuts app to deactivate Always On when you charge your phone before bed. And how to conveniently reactivate Always On when you unplug your phone in the morning. As you can't toggle Always On functionality directly through Shortcuts, only manually in Settings, my solution leans on Sleep Focus Mode that when activated, silently deactivates Always On and allows the screen to go black. To turn on sleep mode, you will need to set up a sleep mode. It's easy to do, just go to settings, then select focus, press plus, and then sleep. Feel free to customize this mode, but customizations are not necessary to make my solution work. If you can turn on sleep mode manually, like this for instance, we're good to proceed. Okay, it's time to download shortcuts, if you haven't already, and fire it up. Our first task is to create an automation that triggers when the phone is plugged in. This automation will determine if the plug-in occurred during your defined sleep time interval and will turn sleep mode on accordingly. To start our plug-in automation, let's make sure you are on the automation tab in the bottom. If you already have an automation, press plus. When presented, select personal automation. This first automation is triggered when the phone is plugged in. So scroll down and select Charger. Yes, we'll keep it on the Is Connected option, so just press Next. To give you a sense of where we're going, here's what the automation will look like when we're done. Pretty short. Before we start adding commands, let's think about what we're doing. So let's consider this logic. 7 a.m., the start of the wake time interval is the 420th minute. 9.30 p.m. is the end of the wake time at the 1,290th minute. So plugins at points between the 420th minute and 1,290th minute should not activate sleep mode, where phone plugins outside of wake time should activate sleep mode. Pretty simple. Okay, to start, let's add a command that will communicate which minute in the day we are in when the phone is plugged in. So using the search bar, get time between dates and select it. This will be the first command in our stack. You will notice there are three inputs in the form of blue letters. What I want you to do is select current date, press clear variable, and then press the grayed out first date and type 12 a.m., the zero minute of the day. Then select second date and choose current date from this list it will have a little calendar next to it. And yes, we want to keep the time in minutes. To recap, this command spits out how many minutes have passed since the start of the day, so 12 a.m., and the time of the phone plugin. If you're one to check your work, you can add quick look using the search bar, make sure time between dates is the input, and press the play button. You should get the number of minutes since 12 a.m. Mine checks out. Congrats, you're a coder. Okay, let's delete the quick look line by pressing the X. We don't need it popping up every time we plug in our phone. So next, let's use the search bar to add if. Three lines will be added, that's normal. On the if line, keep time between dates as the default input. Next, press condition and select is between. You will see two numbers appear. The two time thresholds we agreed on are the minutes at 7 a.m., so 420, and the minutes at 9.30 p.m., 1290. You can use those values, or you can choose values that work better for you. Add, subtract minutes as needed. Okay, so if the minute at plug-in is in between these two I'm awake time anchors, what do we do? Nothing, we ignore it. But otherwise, mm -hmm. if the plug-in time is not in the wake time interval, 
we turn on sleep mode, deactivating the always on feature. How do we turn on sleep mode? Easy. Using the search bar, add set focus, and make sure to drag the command directly under otherwise, not if. If you put it under if, it will behave the opposite of what you want. Now we don't want the default do not disturb, but rather sleep. If you don't see sleep in this list, you will need to set it up like I showed you near the beginning of the video. And we don't want sleep mode off, we want it on until turned off. Okay, congrats, you are almost done with the most complicated automation. Now press next and toggle off ask before running. You don't need to be asked to run the automation every time you plug in your phone. And then press done. So that is our first automation, which is represented here. So when we charge the phone at night between 9.30 p.m. and 7 a.m., sleep mode will be turned on and always on will be deactivated. No more annoying screen light when trying to catch some Zs. Cheers. Now for the unplug automation. Press plus again, create personal automation, select charger, but this time specify disconnect and make sure to deselect connect. Press next. Now use the search bar to add set focus, set to sleep, and yes, we want sleep mode turned off. Press next, turn off ask before running, press done, and well, you're done done. You have what I consider two wonderfully useful automations for taming the always on feature. I really did an amazing job solving my problem. If you want to temporarily disable these automations, select them and toggle off enable this automation. All right, hope this was helpful. Feel free to leave suggestions in the comments with more shortcut ideas. If your suggestion is rad enough, I'll make a video. All right, wrapping this up, catch you on the next one.